So how can you experience tantric orgasm for hours? This doesn't make any sense at all based on everything we know about sex. So there's two things we want to look at when we compare tantric intimacy and regular sex. One is how do we create the energy? Where does it come from? And two, how do we experience it? So in regular sex, the energy comes from friction because the whole experience is actually based in a procreative model where the goal, whether we're heterosexual or homosexual or whatever, the structure's the same. The goal is to bring the bodies together, create some kind of friction and excitement, and eventually have release. So of course this can only last a few seconds. So it's sort of this, it's almost like taking two pieces of wood and rubbing them together and eventually making fire. Same sort of way to create the energy. How we experience the energy in regular normal sex is like a roller coaster. If you were to imagine, you know, you're on the roller coaster and you're going around all the corners and the banks and the ups and the downs and upside down, and it's so exciting and it's so thrilling and titillating. And then in the end, you start to rise up, 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 and you're going up for this final huge, you know, ride down and you're going up, 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 up. And you're all excited and you're full of all this potential and you get to the top and you just feel it and you go over the top and you're screaming and it's so exciting and you're just totally fulfilled and then you sort of wind around to the end and you go oh, that was awesome <laughs> right because who doesn't like roller coasters the difference is tantric sex and tantric intimacy is based in the philosophy of tantra of union where regular sex is more about how these bodies come together, create friction and release, Tantra is about what happens when this all comes together and becomes one. It's, and the energy is more like nuclear fusion. What happens when two subatomic particles <laughs> come together and unite? Well, we know what happens. It's called an atom bomb, <laughs> right? It's like, whoosh, incredible energy, incredible stored energy that we can't even fathom. It's like an infinite, whoosh, except that in this case, it's not destructive. It's invigorating and re revitalizing and phenomenal. But how in the world can this human body experience that kind of power? Hmm. So how we experience it is a bit more like a river. If you imagine our bodies are like the banks of a river, and this energy is this powerful water flowing through the banks, and it's just absolutely uncontrolled. You have no control over how powerful it is, how fast it's going to go, where it's going to go, what it's going to do. And you just sit there just feeling this incredible energy flowing through your bones. That's a bit closer to what it feels like to actually experience it. But of course, this isn't just a tantric trick, right? Some people are drawn to tantra because they just want to have this extreme experience, right? But it doesn't work that way. It's not just a special touch or a special, you know, anything. You actually have to be able to be those banks of the river. And imagine you actually have to believe there is such a power in the universe that could flow that river that way and run through your own bones. And this is where most people who are called to Tantra, they believe in this power. They believe in this energy of the universe, whether you call it spirit, God, divine, whatever it is. And that's why philosophically, Tantra is about experiencing that divine in this physical body. It means we actually become whole. We own our full physicality, our full divine potential, our full energetic spiritual component. And it blends together, infinity meeting a finite body. How does that happen? And this is why the path of Tantra is a path. It's a way of living. It's a way of being. To walk through your life, to walk through work, to raise your children, to have relationships. Fully integrating this divine presence into the physical. Right? It's a whole different world. So then, of course, you become whole. And then these whole beings come together and we look at each other and we're, we want to share it together. So we drop all of our guards, all of our goals, all of our fears and completely blend as one.
And when that happens, this is when the fusion happens and the energy flows through you. And you can, <laughs> which is why we focus on breathing and focus so much, because you just have to hold on and completely release all at the same time. So if you feel called to this, to really understand that it is a journey, it's a whole process of truly becoming whole in ourselves. And then, and again, this also philosophically can happen with you in the universe, which is pure Tantra, right? Actually experiencing the divine in every single aspect of our life. We experience it within us. You can actually have this full body orgasm all by yourself. <laughs> or you choose to share this with another. And that's when we make love and we have tantric intimacy and that's when this happens. It's not just a trick, but it's completely different. Hope you have a great day.